Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today we're going to check out the Halo Infinite development update that they released in August. And this is a development update video that contained the news, or rather the bad news, about co-op and Forge being delayed. However, there is a positive about this video. We actually, or rather they actually show off, show off like little snippets of campaign that we can see. They show off, I believe, like two new weapons and kind of just the environment of the campaign and stuff. And I kind of just want to like break it down and let you guys know what I think it is and stuff like that or maybe we could just you know figure out what it is and stuff with that being said let's go ahead and get into it so I believe it's around here somewhere so we're gonna go ahead and just just kind of search for it Brian, it was almost impossible to safely gather and just oh there we go so here's the first piece so actually I do want to slow it down so we could kind of get like a little breakdown of how it looks so let's slow it down not too much but you know just a tiny bit so we could see Let's go back a little. Almost impossible to Let this play out. Gather. So look at that. Okay, so this is obviously campaign. We can see that he's in some sort of banished structure. I mean, it's kind of clear. As you can see, a lot of red <laughs> and black walls and stuff. And there's like a weird green thing here. Kind of looks like a crate, maybe. Maybe you could like resupply there. I don't know. Um, and this stuff right here just seems like the developer kind of stuff, like the frames and whatever. Um, and I, yeah, I think that's really all that kind of stands out here. We do have like an objective bar here, it seems like. Um, maybe this is a checkpoint, I don't know. But one thing's for sure, this is some kind of banished structure, that's for sure. So I'm gonna let it play out for a second so we could kind of see him move around. Just so down. look at that, you could kind of see him walk around. And it looks like an abandoned, banished structure, now that I think about it. Because look, it's all messy, it kind of looks like it's, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It looks like a lot of debris here, maybe. Reviewed the game. I mean, that's what it looks like. Oh, it looks like we got like a game waypoint together. there. Yeah. And that was super interesting. Okay, so let's speed it up now until we get to the the next point here. All right, so here's the other snippet of another campaign part, and this one's more revealing. I guess that's a proper term. I don't know. <laughs> this one reveals a lot more, and you can actually see. They're showing off the new weapon, which I think a lot of people assume is a shock rifle, which makes a lot of sense. Because if you look at the bottom right, right here, it has the same, what's it called? Shoot, I can't find the proper word, but I'm sure you know what I mean. It has like that same, shoot, what is that word? I don't know, but it looks like the same, um, I don't know what it's called. I, I can't think right now. But you know what I mean, you know, it looks like the one we saw in the Mega Construct toys. And, you know, as you can see, here's the actual gun. So it most likely might be the shock rifle. Um, and then we get to see more of the campaign here. You could kind of see there's grass, trees. Not much. Um, there's some kind of banished platform here, maybe. Something like that. You can see, you can see the uh, Forerunner walls. And yeah, the big thing about this one is the shock rifle. Now, if we look to the left here, we can actually see one of those banished watchtower things. And then we got what seems to be maybe a grunt in the background shooting, something like that. Um, and that's really all there is for this one. Yeah. Joseph, I definitely... Um, but there is more stuff here, so I do want to slow it down. If you guys didn't catch this, let me go ahead and slow it down. But you can actually see a little more as they kind of play out. So here, it's, yeah, it seems like kind of some kind of banished barricade kind of thing. Over here, yeah. kind of the same. And then on this screen, you can actually see a bit of dialogue here. And I'm not sure where he is. And the most important one, or I guess I think the coolest one, is that you can actually see someone using the uh, sentinel beam here. And you could clearly tell it's a sentinel beam because, I mean, just look at it. It looks a lot like the one from Halo 5, or at least inspired from it. And you could just tell, like, the way the sentinel beam is just, it has, like, the little glowy part here. And then, you know, kind of has, like, those uh, angular, what would you call them, <laughs> parts on the gun. And it kind of looks like that, so. But it does look more like the Halo 5 one for sure. So yeah, that that's definitely it has to be the Sentinel Beam. There's no way. Here's the other campaign snippet. I mean, you saw. Boom. Okay, here we go. So this one I think is really cool as well. You get a lot here. So let's begin with the first one, which I think is the most eye appealing one, 
and that's the shock rifle you can see he's using the shock rifle like he's scoping in so at first glance I thought this was a Promethean weapon you know it only made sense because it kind of looks like um, if you've played Halo 4 or Halo 5 whenever you scope in with the light rifle <clears throat> or really any Promethean weapon you kind of get like this hologram orange looking hologram and so that's what I thought this was, but you can clearly see that it's a shock rifle, as you can see here. Or at least what most people are assuming, and what I'm assuming as well, is a shock rifle. And so I think this is the, the scope and feature of the uh, shock rifle, and you can actually see him shooting it, so let me see. Watch, look at that, see? And also, if you haven't noticed, we see a giant sentinel. Um, I'm kind of not sure if it's just a regular size sentinel or like a humongous sentinel because it looks like a giant one. I don't know. Like watch. We'll see him shoot it. You see that? Boom. He shoots like a little electric thing. But it doesn't seem to do much. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. Let me check that out. Oh shoot. I went a little too back uh, or forward or whatever. See in that um, uh, for uh, footage that we showed. Okay, let's let this play out. There we go. So you can see him shoot. All the four TV. Boom! He kind of like shoots it. That's weird. I'm not sure what it does. And then on this screen over here, you can see that this is like. This is like some kind of. I think it's an ammo crate. It has to be an ammo crate because look, he's low on ammo, and then it also has the ballistic symbol. Which, if you didn't know, in Halo Infinite, um, you can actually see, like, the ammo type of your gun or whatever. Um, I'm not sure. I think they're kind of, like, honestly, I'm not so sure <laughs> what that's about. But, yeah, you can, like, see what kind of, like, um, what kind of gun it is, you know, if it shoots ballistics or, like, plasma or whatever. Or explosion, whatever. Or explosives, whatever you want to call it. So look at that, so he kind of rearms. so there's definitely going to be weapon crates around. Um, let me go back a little bit. I mean, you saw all... Let me play out, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. So we got the Sentinel, we got the ammo crate, and let's look over here. So it looks like that's the same ammo crate, and what is this guy doing over here? Or um... TV. I think that's about it, we got an ammo crate, we got the shock rifle scoped in, we got a giant, humongous sentinel, <laughs> and I think, I don't know if I missed anything. Over here, look, this right here, I can't tell, I think that might be the disruptor, or it could be the shock rifle and the person who's playing that, that screen or whatever, whoever's playing this right here, I think it's, this is either the, the uh, disruptor gun, or it's the shock rifle, and he's like, he adjusted his view models or something. Because look, it looks kind of different, doesn't it? It looks kind of different. Like, look at that. See? So, it looks different to me. I don't know. Let me go back again. So look, we're going to go back there. Oh, no way. I think he's fighting a boss. You know what? Maybe that giant sentinel is the boss. Look, I think it's like a boss health. Uh oh. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I hope they're interesting to fight because I don't want it to be like Destiny where you just like. where they're just a bullet sponge. But look, that looks like a boss health, does it not? That looks like a ball. a uh, freaking. Boss health bar. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I hope they're at least interesting to fight. Because I don't want to fight like a spongy enemy. That'll make it kind of boring. Um, but I think that's about everything. Man, dude. Campaign looks... It looks it looks a lot more fun, that's for sure. It looks interesting. Um, it's just really unfortunate that co-op's not going to be at launch. But I still do look forward to campaign. It looks good. Um, and so let me kind of skip through here. I don't think we really have anything else. I think that's really it. So let me just kind of here. Let me, let's put it on double speed real quick, and I'll let you guys know if I uh, see anything else. Because I think that's it. All right. So that was everything. I kind of looked through, and that seems to be about everything. I think the most interesting one was definitely um, the Sentinel. 
the Sentinel and the um, the footage that we showed. Let me see if saw. I could pause it real quick. I think I think the really cool thing about this was that we know Sentinels are coming back. It seems like. I mean, that looks like a Sentinel to me. We got Sentinels, and we do definitely have boss battles. Because that was a health bar. It had to be a health bar. There's no way it's not. So we got that, and what else? We get we got to look at the shock rifle. Possibly the, the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The disruptor. We got the shock rifle, disruptor. I think that's the, oh, and the sentinel beam. So three weapons, one enemy type, which is a sentinel. Um, and I guess more minor stuff like the ammo crates. I don't know if that's really anything. I mean, that's kind of expected, I guess. Um, I think that's about it. What else was there? Uh, we we got to see the banished interior, which was kind of cool. But I think the highlights would de were definitely the sentinel and the weapons of this uh, little campaign snippet things that they showed. Pretty cool. Um, you know, I think the campaign is probably going to be great. It looks looks interesting for sure. You know, it's nice seeing the Sentinels come back. Um, boss battles, I'm a little worried about because what I saw, it seems like it was a health bar. And if you play Destiny or really any other game, <laughs> that's like, um, what's it called? What's the proper term? I guess MMO-ish. They tend to have, like, these really spongy All bosses where fort. you have to, like, spray spray yes. them a ton. And it takes, like, forever to kill uh, one. And they're usually typically, like, very uninteresting and just, like, boring to shoot at, you know? So if they're going to have health bars, then they better be, like, they better be interesting. Like, I hope they have, like, maybe they have, like, phases or something. I don't know. Like, let's say, for example, you're fighting a brew. Uh, let's say, for example, you're fighting that one brute that they showed in the campaign demo in 2020. Like, he better have, like, some cool attacks or something like that. Like, maybe at first he's, like, super defensive. Um, I don't know, he builds turrets and stuff or something. <laughs> I don't know. You know, make him interesting. And then, like, maybe halfway or, like, once a third of his health is down, he becomes more aggressive and, like, pulls out, like, dual dual wielding hammers, gravity hammers or something like that. And just, like, lunges at you. Like, I hope they make it interesting. I hope he's just not, like, some beefy enemy, you know. But, um, uh, yeah, because, look. Different that, that has to be a health bar. Unless all the enemies have health bars now, which would be weird. But I don't know how I feel about that. I just hope it's not, like, a boring boss fight is what I'm saying. But other than that, I do look forward to the campaign. Looks pretty good. Looks fun for sure. But man, dude, just imagine, though, like, it just keeps me thinking, though, like, imagine if, like, all these people were playing together, because that's what it kind of looks like, they're all kind of in the same section, and imagine, like, teaming up, you know, taking down a boss, like, co-op is going to be so big in this game, especially, compared to the previous Halos, because of how they're building up Halo Infinite to be, like, more open-world-ish, even though they say it's not open-world, that's essentially what they're kind of building it into, um, so it it it's a bummer it really is because man it'd be so cool to t like team up squad up kind of like go take down bosses together and stuff and kind of like you know just explore and have fun you can still do that by yourself but it's just, it's just not the same um but you know i still look forward to it well with that being said let me know what you guys think um i think for one campaign is actually going to be way better than halo 5 that's that's for sure um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and like and subscribe if you want to see more Halo content. I plan to uh, be uploading a lot once Infinote, 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 once Infinite drops, I plan to be uploading a lot and stuff, because um, Halo's kind of bare bones right now, there's not much to do. Although I am planning on doing a Road to Infinite kind of series where, you know, I'll talk about that later in a future video, but yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.